and welcome to this video. We've had a few questions on how to repair system files or a problem Windows installation that's going sluggish, slow, etc., etc. You know. Um, now the way we suggest, okay, is an in-place upgrade, okay, which is the same as a repair upgrade. Those two names mean the same thing, okay. So basically. I'll give you an example of what had happened, okay? Um, in this case, okay, the properties or the owners of the Windows file, Windows directory, had been changed, okay? Now, normally it's trusted installer, okay? You'll also find different folders in different places having different owners, but the Windows folder is trusted installer, and then within subfolders, you'll see lots of them being trusted installer. However, you might see some that are belong to system, etc. Okay. Now, what was happening was it was slowing down the computer. We could try to replace the permissions on this back to the original. We have a video on how to reset that. You could also try to reset it to Trusted Installer. If everything's not working, or if it's another problem and things are slowing down, your system's just not work. maybe you used a, shall we say, registry cleaner program from the web and that kind of like messed up your registry and it's all slowed down and you now want to get your computer back to kind of like normal again. What you need to do, is well the first thing is you need to have the latest version of the Windows 10 either DVD ISO or a USB and insert it into the computer so in this case we already have the Windows DVD okay and it's inserted in our drive okay if you want to see what's in the folder just do that and we'll be clicking on the setup. If you haven't got the latest version of the Windows DVD, ISO, or USB, what I would suggest is open up whichever browser you use, go to Google, type in Windows 10 ISO. Now it should be the very first one and it should be for Microsoft. Don't go down. Okay, you'll see other companies, etc. Don't. Okay, other websites. Don't. Just go straight to the original Windows 10 ISO. Okay, now don't click on the update. Now we need to use this download tool. Now save it, run the program, and then this window is open up. It'll get a few things, and what I want to show is how to create that ISO. Except the Terms and conditions if you're happy with it. Now, create installation media for another PC. Next. Okay, now use the recommended options for this PC. It's obviously done an automatic check to see what kind of architecture, like 64 bit, Windows 10, etc. Okay, you could get rid of that and then you could change them. You could go to Home Edition or the End Edition, okay? In this case, we're just going to stick with the recommended options. Click Next. You could make the USB flash drive from here. Make sure you have at least a 4 gig flash drive or this ISO file. What it will do is then you click Next and then choose where you want to save it. For example, Desktop and it'll be called Windows.ISO. Click Save, and then it'll download, and when it's finished, it'll create an ISO on the computer. We don't have the time to download 4 gigs right now and show you the rest of the process, but it's very simple. Once it's done, it'll just say OK and you just close off this thing. Let's assume it actually had downloaded that Windows.ISO file, okay, and it's now there on your desktop or wherever else you save it. Just double click on it, and it's almost the same as inserting a DVD drive, okay. It will come up on, sorry, it will come up on this PC, and you'll see like a virtual DVD drive and the Windows 10 in there, okay. Just right click on that. Open, click Setup, yes, 
Now, when you get to this window, you could download and install updates. Now it's the recommended method. However, to save time in this video, we'll just choose not right now, but we would suggest you do that. Okay. Um, if you want to send some information to Windows to help them make things better, you can tick that box. Okay, click next. You then come to this license screen, read through it if you're happy with it, click accept. It'll scan your computer to see whether it can keep all your software programs, your data, etc. This is the most important thing. Okay, at this window, Okay, this kind of like summarizes and says keep personal files and apps. I would suggest you actually just click on this just to make sure it is selected the top one. This one makes sure that you're actually getting all your programs, data, etc. If it comes to keep personal files only and that's kind of grayed out, it means if you do follow this method, it will reset your computer kind of. Uh, but you lose all your applications, which you may not want. Okay, so if this is grayed out and you're not able to select this option, then basically my suggestion would be to stop at this point and think of other recovery methods. Okay, however, let's assume it has come through that. Then we click install. Right, from this point onwards, don't try and flip between screens by pressing the Alt tab, which you can do. Okay, just back off, make sure before you had done all this, you weren't having any programs running, etc. This thing is basically now reinstalling Windows on top of your existing Windows to kind of give you a clean version of all the Windows files. And it's keeping your programs, all your private files, your Word documents, etc. Okay. Now this can take some time, it could take maybe 50 minutes, 30 minutes, depending on how slow your machine is, how much data there is, etc. And it'll go from 0%, it'll restart, and then maybe restart again. And we shall come back after it has done all the installation and show you what happens at that point. Okay, after it has rebooted and installed everything, and then you've logged in, if you have set up a password, if you haven't set up a password, you just kind of like go straight through. And then this is how it starts. It says, hi, getting things ready, just like as if it's almost like a new PC. Okay, and we'll show you once the screen comes back to the normal Windows desktop. If we look over here, okay, we go to our C drive, okay. It does have a Windows old folder, and if we go to hidden items, you'll also see these folders as well, which can be removed if you look at one of our previous videos that is called um, Delete Previous Installation. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, the main thing that I wanted to show was we're now running our current Windows okay, folder, and if we right click on that, go to Properties. Go to security, go to advanced. You will see it has reset all the permissions of our Windows folder. And that would have happened as well if we had also had like the program files or the program data or the program files 86 folders also with corruptions in it or whatever. Okay, based on permissions. So this repair install does solve a lot of problems. However, don't forget there are other options out there, okay, to repair depending on the problem, okay? You might decide a complete wipe and a fresh install is an option, or a reset of your computer is an option, or finding out the problems and kind of like repairing them in little bits and pieces, whatever, okay? It's up to you. However, this is one method that we wanted to show you, and it is quite useful, and hopefully this has helped. Uh, if it has, click the like and the subscribe button, and thanks for watching.